What is going on YouTube? Fascinating Graveyard. Today we are at the John D. Lake in Lockhart, South Carolina. We're right outside of Union. And this memorial that you see in front of you is in dedication in the memory of Michael, Daniel, and Alexander Tyler Smith. They were both murdered on October 25th, 1994 by their mother, Susan Smith. As you can remember, that video from back in the day, if you were still alive, if you were watching the news back then, you would remember her crying. Those fake crocodile tears, little did we know that her claims of a quote, black man carjacking her, forcing her out of her vehicle while her kids were still in there and driving away was nothing more than a lie. She purposely drove her kids down to this lake right here while they were still strapped to their car seats and drowned them. All because she was trying to win the affections of another man who didn't want children. And as I was here at the site doing the story, my bestie Scarlett brought to my attention another tragic event that occurred at this very same site that I'm gonna go to right now and show you. August 31st, 1996, seven people were in an SUV and they came to the lake to look at the memorial that used to be right by the edge of the water and I'm gonna show you. So in the SUV were three adults and four children. It was 25 year old Dennis Phillips, his wife, 22 year old Angela Phillips and their three children, Courtney four, Melina, 23 months and Kinsley, four months old. Also in the SUV was Carl Sidney White. He was an adult. And there was another baby. His name was Austin. He was being babysat by one of the adults. He was three years old. They came to this site to go look at that memorial that used to be down by the edge of the water. So on that date, the SUV comes, they drive down this very same road that I'm walking on right now. And as you can see the lake, there's a guardrail. This guardrail is here now because of what happened in this very same story. So before this was a boat ramp, this was all asphalt, just as I'm walking on it right now. And they drove to the memorial while they're in their SUV. And if you can't tell, this is very, very steep. This was all asphalt, like I said. And the memorial would have been somewhere right by the water, right in that area. And they drove right up to it. And I don't know if the car lost traction. Maybe he hit, meant to hit reverse and he put it in drive instead. I have no idea. I don't know. But their SUV rolled into this lake. And immediately, the adults got out of the vehicle. And as they got out of the vehicle, because they're panicked, they quickly realized the kids are still inside. So as the SUV is rolling or starting to roll into the water, starting to float, they go after the vehicle and they're trying to get their kids, those babies out of that vehicle. And in that event, all seven people drowned. All seven people drowned. And uh, that is why the memorial that would have been right by the water is now moved about at least 200 yards up over yonder. 
this lake a beautiful lake but just a very very bad tragic vibes where I'm standing at right now not only did two little kids were brutally murdered by their mother can you imagine being strapped in your car seat and you're three and you're with your mommy and she protects you she feeds you she clothes you she takes care of you she came from you she changes your diapers and you trust her with your life to be strapped in your car seat and drowned like that is a horrible way to get murdered and because of that tragic event, seven other people tragically lost their lives because of one deranged, sick woman, Susan Smith, who uh, is a real piece of work, if I do say so myself. If you want to stay tuned to my other channel for that video, very, very, very tragic out here. This is the Evergreen Memorial Cemetery in Landrum, South Carolina, and this is the grave of Carl Sidney White III, this is one of the adults, of course, that uh, tragically died in that uh, accident. I'm assuming he was a truck driver. Final stop, we are at the Rosemount Cemetery here in Union, South Carolina, and this is the Phillips family grave. I was unable to find the other baby that died, Austin Rudwitz. Rest in peace to all those who lost their lives on that day. Very, very just a tragedy to say the least. All right, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you all later. Peace out.